they called it Susanna Carr's world around us, but they shot all her bits in a studio. She never went anywhere except Stuart Hill. And that's not anywhere in really? the so world. So she didn't even go to Broome? No. Nah. They didn't even go to Broome. How did get the camel? No. Come in. <laughs> As you did. Uh, Minister, lovely to meet you. Director General, how are you? Uh, lovely. Thank Come you. in, mate. This is uh, Colin. Hello, Colin. How are Colin's you? our head of logistic operations yeah. and our latest uh, agent recruit, uh, who we call the Huntsman. The Huntsman, an agent, eh? This is my chief of staff, Rosetta, and uh, my advisor, Cam. Is that Cam? Yeah. Um, well, congratulations on the new position. We we did get Thank on well you. with uh, the previous minister, but we are looking lovely forward yeah. to uh, establishing a relationship with you. I'm sure you're a lovely man as well. Thank so. you. Uh, yeah, look, I was very happy with the reshuffle. Uh, of course, agricultural and regional affairs was, was a lot of fun, but uh, I'll tell you what, it's not as much fun as defence minister, is it? No. <laughs> hey? no. Defence. <laughs> not always Boom! fun. Boom! <laughs> not always fun. Uh, and in fact, we're going to start by taking you through the emergency code. Oh, great. These are the kind of can things you'll need to familiarise yourself wow. with. Um, can I have a gander? You certainly can. This is so exciting. Oh, wow. Wow, look at this. Code black. In case of land and sea invasion of Australian mainland. Wow, how <laughs> so exciting is that? Are, they, are these oh, A full invasion. <laughs> yeah. but, but, yeah, wow, it's in, in the likelihood. Uh, yeah. yeah, sorry, are these codes locked in? Um, what do you ask? Could they be changed? It's possible, but what's the problem? Look, I just feel that code black is a little <laughs> insensitive. Yeah, I've actually felt the same way about that. I don't really follow it. Well, just imagine the media storm if the press found out that the worst possible scenario was represented by a racial slur. Hang on, hang on. Black is a racial slur now? Not a slur per se, but it's definitely a grey area. <laughs> Black's a grey area? You get my point. Uh, could we rename it to Code Red? Oh, I don't know. That might offend the communists. Or the gingers. Look, Code Red's actually already taken. Uh, if you refer to your notes, then you'll see that Code Red is a terrorist attack on an Australian embassy. Right. Well, are there any colours that haven't been taken yet? Mm. Do they have to be colours? What about Code Alpha? Oh, I like that. Yeah. As far as I know, purple isn't being used. No, 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 no. I like Code Alpha. I do like that because... Uh, just between you and me, and you can can you guys keep a secret? We are ASIO. Oh, okay. Um, I'm colour blind. So is my dad. You see, it's it's more common than you think. I think we scrap the colours because, as you say, they could be more discriminatory. Hang on, hang on. You, hang on. you do realise we we don't use the actual colours. We just we just say the words. But I don't know what the colours are. But, but you're colour blind, you're not colour deaf. Like, if, if we say green, yellow, navy blue, you don't hear brown, brown, brown. All right, let's compromise. So we use the colour theme, but we go with more user-friendly colours. Code mauve. What the fuck is mauve? Oh, it's lovely. It's like a light purple. Yeah, it's like this. It's like that one. Yeah. Well, what would we use code mauve to represent? Invasion by grandmothers. <clears throat> Why don't we take these papers back to our offices and we'll come up with some new colour codes and bring them to the briefing next week. Thank you very much, Mr. Lieutenant and uh, Huntsman. <laughs> <laughs> and Colin. 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 Thanks, so, bye. Thank you. Embarrassment for the federal government today when it was forced to apologise to the Australian Stone Fruit Growers Union. It was leaked that ASIO has been using code PEACH as the official term for a terrorist attack on Australian soil and code APRICOT for an assassination of the Prime Minister. A Defence Ministry spokesperson made the following statement. Should have gone with Mauve. Certainly should have gone. Certainly should have. Don't put the wrappers back in. Sorry. 